Hey everybody, this is Craig, and I have a new-ish tool for you um, that I think could be useful for adding questions to videos. Um, YouTube stopped supporting adding questions to YouTube videos, and I think this is an improvement upon what YouTube had anyway, because it allows you to um, control the length of the video. You can use any video on the internet, um, add your questions, and then get reports from individual students on how they did and what they did. Um, so I think it could be very useful in many ways. So I just wanted to show it to you, and this is part one. So let's look at it. Okay, so I am at the main page, and it's just edpuzzle.com. And when you go to that web address, you'll be brought here. One of the things I like about it is that you can log in using your Google account. So when you go to sign up, then just choose teacher and then you can sign up with Google and it will automatically bring you to the the login page so I'm not going to do that because I've already done it but after you have signed up and gone through that process then you can just go to login choose teacher and students would do the same thing and then choose sign in with Google and when you do so, it'll bring you to your home page. Yours is going to look a little different because you haven't created anything. One of the things that you'll see in this area is the option to choose your school. So you can click on that and start typing in Crossroads Middle and you should be able to select that school um, and be a part of that Edpuzzle community, if you will. So you can see up here you have your different uh, menus so you can create what they call videos. Um, it could be your own videos or um, any videos from the internet. Um, and then you can create your classes as well. And students will self-enroll into those classes. Um, and then you can monitor things from there. So in this um, little tutorial, I want you to basically get into Edpuzzle and then create your first new class. So if you go over to Create and then go New Class, then you just type in the name. So uh, I might do English test, choose a subject, and then grade if you want. That shouldn't matter too much, but might help you. So now you can see these are the two different classes that I have. And it gives you a class code so that when your students log in for the first time, they will just enter that code and be enrolled into your class. So once you have your class set up, then you can just store the code somewhere. And if I switch between these two, um, you can see once you start creating assignments, then they will show up at this page too. And we'll look at that more in just a little bit. And this is just part one.